Okay, so we're getting started on Facebook Live today. I'll wait for some people to come on. I'm hoping to stay on at the end um, in case there's any questions from anyone because we're going to do it as a bit of a summary this week um, before thinking about different ways to summarise what we've been doing for the last three weeks. Um, normally I get a bit too nervous <laughs> and just want to end the show uh, straight after so I can get my cup of tea. So I've been prepared and got a cup of tea in advance so that hopefully when I get to the end, I don't just want to turn the camera off because my red's full to the top from having done the show. I can uh, stay on for a little bit just in case there's any questions about any of the things that we've done over the um, last few weeks. So, and Samuel's going to be joining us halfway through. He's just downstairs making something for his section of the show and we'll tell you why. Okay, so I will get started. Let me have a look where, I, where I'll be best standing. Um, so, hello, I'm Louise Mansell. I'm a doctor of clinical psychology for anyone who's not seen me before. And that means that I'm not a regular doctor who checks your heart rate and things like that. It's all about the brain and how the brain makes us act in certain ways and feel certain things. And we've been doing lots over the last few weeks about the science of the brain using Lego, chemicals and all different animals. So I've got reptiles back, lizards back and hedgehogs back today um, and we're also going to be talking about this funny character which I'll tell you a little bit more about. So what we need today is some either string, wool or ribbon because I couldn't find any in this house and you can even use soft spaghetti if you need to so you really should be able to find something to do for our activity later and I'll explain what our activity does to all the chemicals in your brain and how it makes us feel okay. Um, so that's what really important when we do all these activities that are called therapeutic play. How about that? But as always, we need our brains. So what do we need to do? We need to do our brain check, don't we? We need to make sure we've got our brains. And can people remember how to do that? They have to tell their brains what to do. Okay, so we're going to tell our brains to reach up high as we can. Tell your brains to reach up. And now tell your brain, bring your arms down, please. Bring them down. Tell your brain to reach up again. Reach up, please. And bring them back down. Oh, your brains are just doing so well at doing as they're told. Now we're going to do a big wave with our hands. After three, tell our brains to wave. Okay, one, two, three, wave. Excellent, faster, faster, slower, really slow, really slow, slow as you can, you barely see them moving, that's excellent and I have had lots of messages this week saying how people are watching the show and somebody wants to make a feelings doll which is great so if anyone who's watching can make dolls we could have a Beyond Psychology doll and another video that was sent to me was with a lovely little girl doing all these activities and she loved the blowing on her hand so we're going to do more of that because that is very good for our green system okay all that green oxytocin so what we can do is we can blow out each of our fingers but only when we've made them quite warm so are you ready we're going to do the clap first to make sure that our brains are definitely here so we're going to do clapping as fast as we can after three one two three clap Make those hands hot. Excellent. Now blow each of the fingers out. That's 10 whole blows. If everyone's got 10 fingers, let me say one, two, three. Hold them up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Phew! You've got all your fingers. That's good news. So blow them all out now. I can't wait to see people's videos of doing, doing that again because it was really nice for me to see videos of the children doing it at home because I don't get to see that because I'm doing this show. So now we know we've got everything, I'm going to quickly tell you all about how everything we've been doing is all linked together. And it's just different ways of explaining essentially the same thing. How about that? About how brains, because they're the same and work the same, but we all have it slightly different and we have different amounts of chemicals depending on what's happened to us in our lives so some children have some if they've been a bit ill when they were tiny they might have some more red than most people or if scary things have happened to them in life they have a bit more red so we're all a bit different 
but how the brain works is very similar. So we've thought of all different ways of explaining it. And that's when we brought lizard or almost lizard. Okay, we'll just go with it. Um, and do you remember us doing the hand brain? Make that fist again with your thumb across there. And this poking bit, this soft bit, we'll give it a squidge again. And the thumb and these lower parts of our brain, not the bumpy bit, the clever bit. Oh, he's, no he's noticing me again. Not the clever bit. That's monkey and humans, they're the clever ones. It's the feelings and the bit that makes us jump. Okay. So I was doing some gardening and a spider came out and I had to be so, so brave to not fall, not to fall off the rocks, but it did make the lizard part of my brain really jump. Um, so the lower parts a hedgehog and lizard. Okay. And that's the lower bits. Give it that thumb a wiggle, the emotional bits. Now, when we talked about them with these characters, that was one way of understanding them. And the other bit was our thumb and our hand brain from Daniel Siegel. Now, the other bit was thinking of it as the downstairs brain on our Lego. Let me bring this round so you can see it really well. The downstairs bit. So we've got our lizard here who sounds the alarm and the downstairs part. OK, now on the Lego, on the Lego house that some people have sent me beautiful pictures of, lovely purple and pink Lego houses, which I really liked because I don't get a lot of pink and purple Lego in my house. And um, so they were my favourites. Then we've got the upstairs brain, okay? And that's something that's talked about in the whole brain child book. That's for the grown-ups, though. We'll build the Lego instead, kids. So the upstairs brain, and that's the bit when you do your hand again, is the bumpy bit. Feel how bumpy that is? Oh, it's very bumpy. That's that cortex, this bumpy bit that's very, very clever. Okay, he likes this bit because we say it's very clever. Monkeys are very clever, but I cover his ears. Humans are much clever. We are much, much cleverer. We can problem solve everything. And we can tell our lower bits how to calm down. Do you remember? Monkey had to keep hugging hedgehog and lizard to calm them down when they got scared and had feelings they didn't understand. And that's like the stairs in the Lego. So it's all the same things. And that's about making sure that the top guys who, who know what's going on can talk to the bottom people, the bottom pits of our brain. But that's why we ask mums and dads and um, all sorts of grown-ups and teachers and anyone who looks after children and helps them to come and learn all about this because it's really important that we talk about these feelings, like these ones as well. Do you remember Samuel's, Samuel's feelings, feelings game when they're happening? A bit like driving a car. So can you imagine driving a car for me? Drive the car like this. Now we learn to drive a car by driving a car. So we have to learn how to manage feelings by feeling them. So it's okay if you have lots of feelings and you, you cry sometimes and you get angry sometimes. It's just really helpful for the guys at the top and other people to tell you what they are when they're happening, okay? And children can get very good at this. Um, and they can name feelings for each other as well once they get used to it. So it's just a habit that we have to get really, really good at, like everything. Our brain learns really, really quickly. So when we're thinking about all those liquids that we poured out and put my special goggles on and my lab jacket, all these chemicals are happening in all these different parts of our brains. So they're really, really important. And what we're gonna think about is the calming down bit. So do you remember when you did your blowing? Do it again. On one hand, ready, one, two, three. <sighs> one, two, three. There's all sorts of things that calm our brains down. Now, I've had a message as well from somebody who said, usually if their little person is biting their nails and sucking their fingers, they tell them to stop. And that's a bit like if anyone ever remembers the John Lewis advert at Christmas, that's a bit like telling this dragon to stop blowing fire. You can't do that. Edgar couldn't do that. And that's why everyone loved the advert so much because it made us realise that you need someone else to support you with it sometimes. Okay, so what we want to do today is think about how to get all our systems able to calm down and talk to each other. And that's partly what we've been doing. But there's a bit of a trick 
when you use science, science is excellent. And when we learn about all the neuroscience and what happens in our brain and all these chemicals, we can use tricks okay, to help our brains calm down. And you'll see lots of these tricks. Lots of people are getting into um, lots of ways of breathing. So lots of people talk about how to breathe um, to help our brains. But what it's doing is it's this thing called the somatosensory system. Is anyone brave enough to try and say that word? Somatosensory system. It's almost as hard as saying supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Can anyone do that one? Excellent. Good try. So our somatosensory system, do you remember, put your hands on your head like this, where you'd put sunglasses and give them a wave. It's that bit. Okay. Now, we would look very funny if the part of our brain here determined what we look like because we'd have massive hands, massive, massive hands. Look at the size of your hands and they're probably they're the size of your face. Yeah. That is not what we'd look like. Hands are so important in helping our green bit, this headband bit, calm down. So we're going to use lots of science. And we've got Samuel downstairs making a little character to show us what that's going to look like. So if you can get him up for me, I need you to bang your feet on the floor and shout, come on up, Samuel, OK? And we'll see if he comes up. Bang your feet. Come on up, Samuel! Come on up, Samuel! Again. Come on. Oh, he's here. He's here. Okay, so he's been building a character, let me show you, that looks a bit like this. Who's done there, darling? Boxy pink. Oh, so our hands are a great way of calming our sensory system down. But so are our ears and lips. That's why I pucker your lips up like this. They'd be so big if it was determined by this part of our brain. But that is why when we're a bit nervous, it's the first thing we go to. Lips and tongues and fingers. And after that, we do try to do things. We might even mess with our ears because it's a really quick way of calming down that system. So our brains are so clever. They just know this and they just do it for us. So we've got... <laughs> we've got he loves waving this monkey. Can everyone wave to monkey? You want to do your salute? Salute. Can you do your salute? Salute to monkey. Now me salute. Excellent. So, Sam, have you got your characters? Oh, and I can see George has, has attempted one as well. They don't have to be um, biologically correct, but the idea is there. This so we're going to get you to do this is a Play-Doh. This is mine. System. Can you tell us a bit about all these parts? Why are they so big, Sam? Can you remember? Or which pits of him are big? Uh, his hands, his feet and his ears. And his mouth. His tongue. His tongue's fell off. That's okay. So, his anyone who can have a go at building one, that would be great. And I've saved, saved a picture on Facebook of him. Um, and yeah, he's got huge ears. So our ears make this part of our brain light up really, really well. Really, really quickly. So does our tongue and mouth. Stick it out, Sam. You do that. Our tongues are really, really good at that as well. And our hands. Look at those massive hands. We happen to have those in stock today. Um, so we got those as well. So you have a go at building one of those for today. And the good thing is with Play-Doh, our hands really like squidgy Play-Doh. So again, it lights up. It literally lights up that system like that. And we're going to do lots of activities now with your string that light up that system as well. Do you want to show them George's? It's slightly different. This is nowhere near where it's going. Is that nowhere near it? It is a little bit. Oh, it's the other way. These oh. are his big ears. Different. And a big mouth. See, it's got a big mouth. He wants you to show. We said with George's watching, so we said, Hi, George. So give us, a, give us a shout out if you want a little hello and if we can read it, we will. So I'm going to measure Samuel, but I'm going to measure all the, all the parts that build up this green system. Let's see if I can get this down without spilling it. Ooh. Okay, so do you remember the chemicals? So all, these, all this green 
is the bit that calms us down really, really well. And because we know the neuroscience of it, we know which parts of the body link up to it the best. And that's what that guy's about, wherever he's gone. He's, oh, he's fallen down here. That's what this fella's about. All the bits that link up to this part the best. So have you got your string ready? Wiggle your string. Wiggle it. Wiggle it as fast as you can, fast as you can, fast as you can. Okay, and now the grown-ups need it. If the grown-ups aren't there, you can still try it yourself. Because we are so well measured sometimes that sometimes our thumb is the size of our ear. Let's try this, Sam. So while I'm doing it, he's getting a bit of green because I'm touching his hand. Remember, it's all lighting up if you could see it. Can you feel it? Sometimes he says he can feel it. Can you feel it lighting up? Yeah? Mm, it'll really light up now when I touch your ears. Are you ready? Let's see if this thumb is the size of your ears. Should we show them? Oh, it's exactly the size of his ears. We have all parts of our bodies that are the same size. So let me try your finger. This is a cheating one. See if your middle finger is the size of your smile. Bigger. Oh, his, his smile's so much bigger. Smiles are, can get really big when you do this game. And oh, do Especially that. Especially in cartoons, they go for big. They do in cartoons go really big. People love smiles. That's why people love dolphins because they look like they smile. So we really like smiling, but it's because our brains like smiling. Now do that big smile for me again because I think I, I think I felt it get a bit warmer up here. <gasps> Can you feel it? Can you feel it lighting up? Just a little bit. And the other things we can measure, we can measure ears, we can measure smiles, and we can measure lots of fingers. So let's measure which is the second biggest one with our string. You ready? It could be that one, or it could be that one. Oh, I think it's that one. Excellent. Now let's see if your thumb is as big or as small as your eyebrow. Let's give us your eyebrow. Oh, your eyebrows are a little bit smaller. And then, another trick, stretch your arms out as far as you can and ask your grown-up <laughs> to measure from your tickly armpits to the end of your finger. Now, what size do you think that is? Um... It's the size of your head. Are you ready? Look at what? that. Yeah. That's magic. <laughs> it is like magic. Your body is like magic. Can we I are try? really can magic. Can I tell you? You can. So from that finger. The biggest finger. Yeah. Are you measuring all the way to my arm? Under my arm. Are you ready? I'll put it round my head. What? Tiny bit. Tiny bit bigger. Must have really long nails but almost identical because we are so magical. Now, it's really important that we get these sorts of feelings into our brain, a bit like sneaking broccoli in. Has anyone got parents or schools who sneak broccoli into food? And do you remember disgust out of Inside Out? Blech. You do uh, broccoli pizza. No, no, no. But it's a bit like that. We have to sneak this in because our brains need it. It's good for them. So even if some children think they might not like it, it's still really, really good for them. So we have to find ways of doing it. And another one is the temperature check, it's called in Theraplay. So when I was doing all those things, I noticed that Samuel's hands felt really, really warm. And they were much warmer than your ears. So we can find little reasons to check temperature too. We can check if it's, oh, his head's warm, his hands are warm, and both ears are cold. How about that? So thank you for bringing this up, Samuel. And you can uh, you can go now, because I know he's practising his bike skills oh, today from the having rivers. watched. <laughs> yeah, he can totally ride. From watching BGT, they're now doing stunts. So thanks, BGT, for that. Um, that don't try this at home is not quite working out in this household. Um, but on a different note, Samuel wants to see if people can make their own version of homunculus. That's a, another tricky word that I can't even say. So let's try that one um, another time. And remember to sneak in lots of self-soothe activities because we want this green to be 
in have have enough we don't want it too full if we remember samuel saying we don't want it too full because we don't want it to be too relaxed but it's not likely to be too full particularly in the grown-ups so the grown-ups might have to top up their green system as well um because there's so much red around at the minute okay so i don't think there's much risk of us getting too relaxed so lots of activities to top up our cell seal system see if you can feel it in your head when your grown-ups are doing it for you and especially that smiling and all those sorts of things. So give us a big smile and a wave before we go to top up your system. And I'm gonna stay on for a little bit and drink my tea to top up my green system in case anyone's got any questions. And I'll see you next week with lots of Play-Doh. Okay, bye.